Hey Bushcraft fans, uh, today we're going to do another axe video. This Rockaway pattern is courtesy of uh, Pillsbury Throwboy. Uh, he sent this to me, uh, gave me a really good deal on it, uh, mailed it to me, got it in the mail today, so uh, I'm going to start getting to work on it. I guess two wasn't enough. It's a handy little tool I made for pushing out the uh, the haft when you're sizing it. It's just a scrap piece of uh, sledgehammer handle. Comes in handy. This edge is pretty tore up. Uh, it's better than most, but uh, I can see little divots in the cutting edge. Right there, there, there. There's a flat spot right here. What this is doing is showing me where my high spots are and where my low spots need to come up to. So what I'll do now is take a magic marker and draw a black line really thick along here to show where I've been. Now what that'll do is show me my wear patterns and my divots on the face of the blade. So if you're wondering why I'm using the back, it's got a nice spring feel to it. If I were to use the face up here where it's intended to be used, then it would uh, just put gouges in the blade. That's not what I want. It'll uh, build up uh, too much heat. What I'm trying to do is use this black line to show where I need to be at my low angle and my high angle. My high angle is going to be where my cutting edge is. My low angle is going to be blending in the rest of this metal. You can actually see, at least from my end anyway, the gouges or the flat spots more readily. So what I'll do is I'll flatten this all off. That's going to dull my edge and then I'll uh, bring it back to a convex to a point. Alright, so what I've done is I've rounded off this entire edge. I can take my finger on there and feel no deep spots, no gouges, no chips. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'll bring it back to a convex.
All right, so after a bit of sharpening, what I do is I check it out on the leather. I'll get a piece of leather here, and I'll just slide it across. If I can make a line, it's good to go, and I've got a good enough starting cutting edge. All right, next step, get that finely ground a little more. And all I do for that is some 1,000 grit sandpaper. Get this at Walmart, automotive section. So this is pretty easy. Not much to it. Kind of tedious, but... Alright, so now looking at our blade, what we have here is just a series of lines that are going straight like this. What we want to do is make a crisscross pattern on that edge. So already we're starting to see a little bit of different look here. We've got that crisscross going on. Crisscrossing your your uh, your pattern removes more material a lot quicker. The key here is consistency. You're trying to remove material in a consistent manner on the bottom to make your convex the same way. All right. So that means doing it at this angle and this angle only. Not up here. Not down here the same angle each and every single time. Getting there. Now if you remember that crisscross pattern I was telling you about on the sandpaper, we're doing the same thing here. When I change my angle, going this way, then I switch my angle going this way. That gives us a crisscross pattern because this is going to stay constant. So I change my pivot point. I shift back and forth, left and right. So pretty much all I've done is clean this uh, this axe head up, took the corners off, got rid of the mushroom, gave it a little polish, worked the edge, and it only took me hour at the most. Uh, shaving sharp. It's pretty nice. It's uh, a little dull right here, but I can fix that up on the uh, on the sandpaper. But uh, if you look at it, you can see light. You uh, you have a dull spot. That's why I use the, all that light on the, uh, the belt sander. So I can see a little spot there and a little spot right there. But the rest, uh, darn near invisible when it comes to a point. But uh, Pillsbury Throwboy, thanks for sending me this nice little uh, rockaway pattern, man. This is the first one I've worked on. So the next time you see this thing, I'm going to get some uh, handles from House Handle and uh, get them in the mail. So the next time you see me, I'll, uh, I'll have some wood on this guy.